In this video, I'll discuss how the pipe feature in a shell is implemented. In other words, if on the command line, uh, on the shell terminal, if you were to enter a command like this, lswc, what, what does the shell do to, to run ls, get its output, send the output to word count, and word count counts the number of lines, words, and characters, and prints it out. The way this is done inside the shell is, the shell first creates a pipe. And then it creates two children and one will exec ls and the second will exec wc but what what we know is ls's default behavior is to write it, its output to its standard out but what we will do is we'll make its standard out point to the input or sorry the output the right end of our pipe and the same thing is true with wc wc expects its input from std in its std in but what we will do is we will tie the read read end of this to the stds in so that when it reads it's really reading from the pipe and this is how the shell pulls off this feature which is the pipe feature. Now, if there were more than two processes, it'll do the same thing. It can chain any number of them. So let's look at a concrete example of how this is done if you are writing your own program. So this is an example of that. Let's make it a little bigger. So um, the idea here is um, we want to do the equivalent of, the equivalent of, a shell running a command one and piping it to a command two but we are gonna run this let's say this is in some pdf exec dot c and we built it as an executable which is pdf exec and when we run it we're gonna run it pdf exec lswc which will basically take the output of ls and word count it and that's the output we expect and similarly date will give you that output uh, date pipe to cat will simply display it so how do we do this well uh, first we're gonna create a pipe like we said we're gonna create a pipe uh, we'll fork the first child, this is the first child, and this is the code of the first child, which is right here. That's the first child. And, and then in the first child, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, close the read end of the pipe. Uh, I commented this out, but I should have, have it uncommented. But because the child, the first child, uh, child one is not interested in the read end. He's going to close that, which we talked about before. And what he does is he dupes his standard out, his standard out and file one, uh, file uh, pipe fd one. So his standard out is now the standard out is connected there. Which remember we we said this is the pipe fd of one which is the right end and this is the pipe fd of zero which is the read end so that's what the first child did but what he then does is he does an exec so he does an exec of the first command whatever your first command is command one if you will so this basically then overlays this image with command but what doesn't change is his file descriptor table because the file descriptor this dupe change happened within the file descriptor table which is part of the process control block that hasn't changed so so that remains exactly the same uh, so the the, uh, the first command which i ex exited 
uh, executed uh, thinks that it's still reading uh, writing its output to the std out but it's not really writing it to std out it's writing to the pipe now the second the second child is created here and the second child what it does is it this is child two what it does is he's gonna close again the end that it doesn't need and he takes his std in and he dupes it so that they are pointing to one and the same that they are one and the same so when when the child which is the second child runs he is always reading his input from the pipe end so that's how we pull this off now um, once we once we made the connection and they're they're producing output and writing the output we will uh, make sure and close these two pipes outside this is a very important thing that we have to do this is important that we close the pipe within the parent otherwise when when the last byte of the 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 uh, the first child writes the last byte to this and then he terminates id the termination should cause the um the std in when the when the second child reads from std in he should get an end of file because the pipe has been closed well the pipe is not really closed because there's another other entity in this case the parent that's holding a handle to the pipe fd so pipe fd of one so he doesn't get an end of file so it's very important even if you miss the first one it's very very important that you do this step if you don't do this step then the the second child will never terminate so what will happen is when i try to do a wait and wait by the way um, waits for to reap the ch uh, exit status of the child and the first this one will 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 exit because the the first child has finished but this one won't exit this is will not exit unless you do this step but in any way you will get this the following output